Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. Welcome to Mojo Plays, and today we're letting the OG snake show off by looking at the 10 most badass big boss slash naked snake moments. The real big boss is a real big boss, and we're gonna find out why. Possible spoilers ahead. Before we continue, we publish content all week long, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified of our latest videos. Ground Zeroes. Kept you waiting, huh? When Metal Gear Solid 5 Grand Zeroes dropped, we hadn't seen Big Boss for four years since the previous entry, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Our jaws hit the floor when Metal Gear Solid took its gameplay and immersion to the next level with Ground Zeroes. A new voice, a new style, and a new game, Ground Zeroes was the best way to show off this badass new version of Big Boss. The entire main mission has Boss infiltrating a well-guarded enemy fortress, breaking into the facility first, then a prison camp, then a deeper, more solid compound, dropping enemies, fighting tanks, and saving two hostages. Big Boss proves that even after four years, He's still got the moves. Taking abuse. Boss? <gasps> Although across the entirety of Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, we watched Snake take a hell of a lot of abuse, we're gonna focus on his first real beating and the catalyst for the player needing to learn the brand new cure system. After finding the Soviet scientist Sokolov, Snake is stopped in his extraction efforts by his former mentor and friend, the boss. After explaining that she is defecting and taking Sokolov with her, Gru Colonel Volgan tells her to kill Snake as he's, quote, seen his face. Instead of killing Snake, she dislocates his arm, gives him an incredibly hard hit to the guts, and... Oh, what else? What else? Oh, yeah! Throws him off a f***ing bridge! The fall alone should have killed him, but instead, he manages to fight the rapids and drift safely onto the shore. He then performs his own medical treatment, including popping his arm back into place. Getting to the control tower. While Peace Walker offers numerous memorable moments, one that stands out is the get to the control tower mission, particularly when experienced in single player. The mission reaches its climax as Snake faces his ultimate challenge, at least in this entry. A formidable squad of commandos and a menacing helicopter, all with their sights locked onto the player. The tension is heightened by the dwindling ammunition reserves and the destruction of the building the player enters, which strips away most of their cover. To add to the intensity, the game's main vocal theme, Heaven's Divide, begins to serenade in the background. This moment is undeniably one of the most thrilling and remarkable sequences in the game, and perhaps even the entire Metal Gear series, especially when players ultimately take down that goddamn chopper. The Halo Jump. Spread your wings and fly. God be with you. We'd heard about Big Boss for years leading up to Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, first appearing in Metal Gear 1 in 1987 and officially dying in Metal Gear 2 in 1990, Big Boss was talked about as an almost godlike figure in memory during the following two games, Metal Gear Solid 1 and 2. But in Metal Gear Solid 3, we had the opportunity to jump back in time chronologically before all other entries to control the legend himself and see how Naked Snake became Big Boss. For the first time, seeing and hearing the infamous hero, we expected an epic intro. Major Zero opens the game by explaining to us that we are taking part in the first ever solo Halo jump, a high altitude, low opening, free fall, and parachute into Soviet territory. From refusing to put out his cigar at the beginning of the jump to his epic superhero landing at the end of the jump, this sequence is top to bottom badass. Fighting the Ocelot unit. So this is the legendary boss. Huh? CQC is a style of close quarters combat that Snake and his former mentor, the boss, developed together. Similar to Judo, it's a quick disarming and enemy dropping fighting method that allows the user to go toe to toe with almost any opponent, armed or unarmed. At the beginning of Snake Eater, Snake is surrounded by Commander Ocelot and his infamous Ocelot unit. But when Ocelot's gun jams, Snake takes this opportunity to quickly remove all threats around him. 
With a combination of human shielding and using his enemy's force against them, he manages to knock everyone unconscious while completely unarmed. Snake, you rock. Ah! Shagahod Chase. Step on it. In Metal Gear Solid 1, there was Metal Gear Rex. In Metal Gear Solid 2, there was Metal Gear Ray. In Metal Gear Solid 3, there was the Shagahod. The Shagahod is a fast moving, heavily mobile nuclear ballistic tank. And towards the end of Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake and Eva are pursued by it in one of the most badass chase scenes of all time. Shooting attacking soldiers, escaping and approaching Ocelot, blowing up a bridge, this chase scene has everything, and it all culminates in an epic toe-to-toe -to -toe fight with a nuclear ballistic tank. How Snake wins this fight, we'll never know, but he does, and he does it in style. Becoming Big Boss. Players knew jumping into the third entry in the MGS franchise that Naked Snake was destined to become Big Boss, but seeing him gain the title and receive the applause and salutes still gave us shivers, especially knowing what this man was destined to do. In the final moments of Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake confronts his mentor, the boss, in a dramatic showdown. Snake defeats her, and as she lie dying, she reveals that her betrayal was part of a mission to protect the United States. She entrusts Snake with the legacy of her ideals, and he inherits her title as Big Boss. The game concludes with Snake saluting the boss's grave and setting in motion the events that will shape the future of the Metal Gear series, establishing him as an iconic character in the franchise's complex lore. You are above even the boss. I hereby award you the title of Big Boss. Snake vs. The Boss Speaking of their encounter, let's talk about their fight. Across the game, we see Snake get bested by his former mentor, the boss, on more than one occasion. Not only that, but Colonel Volgan, a man who was able to physically dominate Snake in the most brutal beatdown in the series, shivers in his boots at the mere idea of going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the boss. Building skills and drive as the game plays out, Snake finally has to fight and kill the boss and proves to the player and the boss why he's ready to take on the role that would burden him until his own demise. This final fight was being built from the moment the game started and seeing it finally play out after hours of gameplay is extraordinary. Torture. Every single Metal Gear Solid game up until this point featured a torture scene. The first game saw a shirtless Solid Snake being electrocuted by a machine. The second game saw a naked Raiden being electrocuted on an almost identical contraption. The third game saw Naked Snake being beaten, electrocuted, shot, threatened, stabbed, and shot again. The first two games were fairly light. The third was something out of Reservoir Dogs. Although our main man ends up peeing himself from what can only be described as the most excruciating pain any MGS protagonist had suffered up until this point, he doesn't reveal any information and doesn't give in to the horrendous torture. Naked Snake is a badass. A pissy pants badass, but a badass nonetheless. Peaceful death. In possibly the most spine-chilling reveal in the whole game, Big Boss shows up at the end of the events of Metal Gear Solid 4 to reconcile with his son. His appearance is gasp-worthy as it defies all logic of what we had previously been led to believe. His reasons for appearing are varied and poetic, some believing part of it involves coming to terms with his murder of the boss. What is clear is that this badass wants to finally bring an end to the Patriots by allowing himself to die. Like a Hollywood hero, he dies with a lit cigar. His ending is badass, epic, and peaceful at the same time. Rest easy, old mate. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Mojo Plays and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos.